Hi, Ben here, Amateur Radio Call Sign M7FRS, and uh, join me for some soldering practice in this video as I attempt to fit a replacement screen to this Quansheng UV5R Plus. So if you've seen one of my previous videos where I fitted the HFRX uh, modification board to the Quansheng UV5R Plus, and I'll leave a link in the description down below to that video. Uh, you might know uh, a couple of things. One, that I'm not very good at uh, soldering, and I could do with a bit more practice. And secondly, uh, I managed to destroy uh, a UV5R Plus in the process. So I say destroy, I didn't really destroy it. What happened was the um, original screen, um, when I dismantled it, was loose inside the case. And so as I um, pulled the uh, PCB away from the casing, the uh, screen itself got caught and ripped the ribbon cable as you can see just here so the ribbon cable tore off on the screen itself and I don't think it was ever uh, complete because some of the plastic was uh, was missing I never uh, found the plastic bit so I don't think it would ever been uh, uh, right from the start to be honest but uh, yeah you can see how, uh, how, how that all kind of fell apart and, and had broken so I ordered a replacement screen off AliExpress and that came in a, uh, a reasonable sized package, so it's well protected. It's uh, literally just that screen in this huge box, or big box for the screen anyway. So there was plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, packaging in there, because it's come all the way from China. So uh, nice, and, uh, nice and safe. And uh, there you go, there's the, uh, how the screen comes. Uh, and you can see we just need to attach that little ribbon cable um, to the... Uh, uh, just the inside of the PCB there, so we'll we'll take the uh, radio apart and uh, see if we can uh, attach this new screen. I, I also, I've, incidentally, I've no idea what colour this screen is. Obviously, on the old uh, screen on the UV5R Plus, it would have had a blue LED backlight. Uh, this one was advertised for the UVK5, so I'm assuming it's uh, a white LED, but it doesn't actually say because the UVK5, uh, let's say, has the the white. LED and the UV K58 uh, obviously has the the orange backlight. So, like I say, no idea what this will be. A bit of a mystery when we uh, plug it in. But like I say, my assumption is going to be a uh, a white LED. But anyway, whatever it'll be, it'll be better than the uh, the old one. Okay, so I've put the parts to one side. I've already removed the volume uh, knob and uh, the antenna's been removed as well. Uh, also, you can see there's no uh, buttons in this. I didn't bother putting them back in after uh, last time, but the uh, uh, the buttons are, are safe and ready to go back in afterwards. Uh, so all we need to do is, uh, we don't need to undo that nut at the top there, as was pointed out last time. It is just a quite a simple case of using a small prime tool and gently prying from the bottom and popping the radio out of the casing itself. So something to be aware of is that um, just behind the speaker mic uh, attachment is the uh, a little plastic uh, panel which can fall out and uh, you just need to gently bring the uh, bring that out of there the other thing that would normally be connected is the speaker as well but I've obviously already disconnected the speaker uh, when we took it apart last time so the speaker I've left uh, disconnected and uh, you can see uh, where that ripped ribbon cable is just here like just underneath the uh, the LED so we need to desolder uh, that remaining part of the ribbon cable uh, and then we'll uh, clean that all up and we'll reattach the new screen. So I'm going to try and avoid some of the mistakes I made last time. So you can see I've put the uh, radio into a vise so it's nice and secure. The soldering iron tip is nice and clean and uh, slightly tinned as well and uh, as, as hot as I can possibly get it really so uh, hopefully uh, we can just start heating, the, uh, start heating these up and with a uh, pair of tweezers we can gently lift uh, as we go. So there we go, that's the old bit of uh, ribbon cable off. We just need to uh, clean that all up and uh, we'll get the uh, the new one fitted hopefully.
Okay, so I've cleaned up the pads, applied a tiny amount of solder flux and uh, some solder paste and uh, applied a little bit of flux to the uh, underside of the uh, screen uh, ribbon cable just off camera uh, but that seems to have made a, a fairly good connection so before we put it all back together I'm just going to test to see if that screen actually works to start with so I'll pop the battery on and uh, there we go. Ah, so it's an orange screen, and uh, and it does work. So that's uh, fantastic. One thing the screen didn't come with was the uh, plastic uh, surround, which clips into the PCB itself. So I just need to remove the old screen uh, from its plastic case in there. There we go, so we'll take the old screen out and then the uh, the new screen is just going to sit inside this plastic case and it goes that way up with the uh, ribbon cable indent there and then that will just clip into the PCB hopefully. So that's probably a safer way of doing it is clipping that in first and then gently folding it over. There we go, we can sit that in there, we can then remove the uh, screen protector and then uh, we'll see if we can very carefully uh, reassemble it. So something else I've just noticed is it's got these little sticky pads as well that just need to be uh, little adhesive pads that just need sticking. So let's see if we can remove that. There we go, so let's uh, pop the battery back on, uh, let's put a volume control knob back on as well, and then again, moment of truth, there we go, one repaired Quansheng UV5R Plus, uh, now with an orange display rather than a blue one. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video, been slightly more successful than my last soldering effort, and uh, always welcome your constructive comments uh, down below and uh, please hit the like and subscribe for more content and we'll see you on the next one. 7-3!